Hello everybody, it's Chris Hood from Chris Hood Photography. Um, if you've ever tried to line audio up in Premiere Elements, um, I'm sure you have found if you're using an external recorder to record your audio, then you bring the video and the audio into uh, Premiere Elements, that you have a hard time getting it perfectly lined up because sometimes when you start the recorder, it splits a frame. And if it's in between the two frames, you can never get it lined up just right. I have found a way to do it using Audacity and Premiere Elements. So that's what today's tutorial is about, is how to line that audio up and get, get everything synced up perfectly. So uh, the first thing I've done is I made me a folder and I have the movie file that came out of my Canon 5D and I have the audio file that came out of my Zoom H1 recorder. That's what I'm using for my audio. Uh, matter of fact, I'm even using that for the audio for this video. Okay, so first thing we do is we bring up elements. It doesn't matter which version of elements you use. Uh, I'm using 11. Uh, if you're using a different version, your stuff will just be in a different place, but it all works the same. I've done this on Elements 4. So we're going to go in and add our media. I'm going to bring the movie file in. We're going to drag it down to our timeline. Okay, now that's all we do. We just bring it in, put it in the timeline. Now we're going to go to our Publish and Share. I'm going to set it for a computer. Um, and on the side, you have all your different outputs. If you slide down to the bottom, you'll have an audio export option. Um, the different versions, it may be in a different place, but you want to just export the audio. Um, I've got it set up for 48 kilohertz at 16 bits. That's what your camera records at. So if you keep everything the same, 48K at 16 bit, um, you won't have problems with um, the audio stretching over time because one runs a little faster than the other. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save that. I've already got it set to go to that folder. All right, so it's already rendered it. Okay, minimize now, and we will bring up Audacity. Audacity is a free audio editing software package. It is awesome. It works really well. I know there's stuff out there a whole lot better, but it does great for this. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open... Um, when I exported that, I didn't name it, so it comes in as untitled. I'm going to go ahead and open that one. And it asked me if I want to make a copy so I don't edit the original. Yes. Okay. Now, now that I've brought that in, I want to import audio. Because if you open, it'll just open another instance of the program. And now I'm going to import my Zoom audio file that came out of my recorder. I'm going to make a copy of it again. Okay, <clears throat> at the beginning of the video, I clap my hands, just like they do in the movies with a clapper, so you can see it visually and line your audio up. And as you can see, they started it, started recording at different points. Um, the Zoom file started later. So what I'm going to do, I've already got the bottom selected. You can see this yellow band running around this track down here. If you click over here on the left side, it'll select the whole track. Up top here, I'm going to grab this little time shift tool. And all we're going to do is drag this guy over. That's all you got to do. I'm going to drag it over there. Now we're going to zoom in so we can get it really close. See, even though it looked close from that far out, it wasn't. So we're just going to drag it over a little more. Get everything lined up really tight there. Okay, and then um, I'm going to go back to my selection tool. And if I click right here, it'll take off and start playing. Okay, here's the test videos. Okay, and as you can hear, there was no echo. If your stuff is not lined up perfectly, you will hear an echo. So we're going to zoom back out. I'm going to tell it to fit the window. Okay, now we can see everything. All right, now, if you look over here on the left side of the zoom file, there's two little arrows. That's showing that when I drug it to the left, part of the track slid off the left side of the screen. What we want to do is we want to highlight this down here first thing we got to do is our selection tool. We want to select this track, come down here and click at the end and highlight this track to the end there. And now we want to trim it. So we go up here to the trim tool, click trim. 
Now we've trimmed all that off the end and there's nothing off the end here so it only left what we had selected. Now we've got a file that lines up in time exactly with the one that came straight out of the video camera. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to tracks and we're going to remove this top track. Get rid of it. Okay. Now we're left with our audio file from the recorder. Now we're going to export this file and put it into, our, into my tutorial folder. We're going to call this uh, Zoom Edit. We want to make sure it's in 16-bit and it was already at 4800. So we're going to save that. Now that file saved, we're going to close this so it won't be opened in two places. Just close the file, please. No, I don't want to save it. I've already saved it. Okay. Now we're going to bring up our video editing software. Go up here and add media. Go back to that folder and grab our edit, our zoom edit file. We've brought it in. Now we just drag it down here. Put it on there and let's zoom in and take a look at it. Okay. As you can see right here, it's all nice and lined up. Okay, so we're going to play it. Okay, here's a test video syncing up the audio. I've got my recorder here with my mic, and I've got the. Okay, now, now right there, that was. Uh, that was the recorder audio and the camera audio playing at the same time. So we can bring up our audio mixer. We'll start it over again. Okay, here's the test Let's video. Let's mute the camera audio. audio. All right, here's. I've got my recorder here with my mic. That's the recorder audio. And I've got the audio running on the camera to sync up. And there's the camera audio. Microphone from my recorder. So we'll go back and do that one more time. We'll turn off the camera audio completely. And this is just with the recorder. Hello. Hey, here's the test video. All right, we'll go back and take the... Um, We'll turn off the camera video, camera audio, by hitting the mute there, and just have the recorder audio. Okay, here's the test video syncing up the audio. I've got my recorder here with my mic, and I'm okay. So there you have it. That's it. Now. Um, all you got to do if you're not real familiar with the program, just go down here, click on your video, delete audio, and there you go. It's not in there anymore, not in your way, and you have, you have perfectly synced audio with your video. So I hope this helps some of you um, to get you straightened out on uh, syncing your audio up with your video. Thanks a lot. I'm Chris Hood from Chris Hood Photography. And here's what the finished product looks like with camera audio versus recorder audio. Okay, here's a test video syncing up the audio. I've got my recorder here with my mic, and I've got the audio running on the camera to sync up with my microphone from my recorder. There you go. Okay, here's a test video syncing up the audio. I've got my recorder here with my mic, and I've got the audio running on the camera to sync up with my microphone from
my recorder.